Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you how I do a basic French plait. My doll's head's really thick so I'm just going to do it on one half of the head today. So start off by brushing any of the tangles out of the hair and then you're going to take a small slice at the front hairline. Now I'm going to split my plait into three sections. Try and make sure the sections are as even as possible. And then we're going to start braiding. So I'm starting on the right hand side and just crossing it over my middle section. Readjust your hands so that you're holding the pieces in the correct place. And now I'm going to the left hand side and going over the now middle section. Okay, so my left hand piece is now the middle section. Now I'm just going to pick up a little bit of hair from the hairline. Smooth it out as best as I can. And add it into the current right hand side piece. Okay, so I'm going back to the middle section and crossing my right hand piece over it. And now I'm going back to the left and add in some more hair. Readjust your hands again and then cross that section back over the middle. And again, we're now back to the right hand side. When I'm working on real clients, I like to actually use a comb to smooth out the additional hair. I think it just gives a neater finish. But as I'm showing you guys, I think it's easier to practice without it. Okay, so I've added some hair to the right hand piece and I've just crossed it over the top of the middle section. And now I'm back to the left and I'm picking up a little bit more hair to add to the left hand section. And again, crossing over the top of the middle. If you want a really tight plait, then I would just keep readjusting your hands and squeezing the hair tight and keeping your hand as tight to the plait as you can. You can see my hand isn't halfway down, the hair is actually sat right against the plait just to hold it all in place. Okay, so you're literally continuing all the way down the head. You'll notice that when I'm working on the front pieces of hair, I is obviously not a real client, so I'm dropping my doll's head back so I can reach it a bit easier. But you can get your client to just lift their head up, push it back, just so you can reach everything a bit easier. And then as I start moving down through the middle of the head and down into the nape of the neck, I get them to drop their head back forward, just so I can get it in as tight as possible. And you can see by how much hair I'm holding, this doll's head is so ridiculously thick. The thicker the hair, the, the tighter you need to squeeze really to keep it all nice and tight. Okay, so I'm back to the right, so I'm just brushing it out with my fingers. Once you guys have grasped this, then I would actually go on and try and use a comb to smooth it out. Cross it over the middle section and now work on the left, add a bit more hair. And cross over that middle section. So nothing changes, you just need to practice finding that middle section and moving from left to right and picking up that piece and crossing it over in the middle section. So you can now see that my doll's head is dropped forward just so I can get it a bit tighter in at the neck.
and I've sped it up a bit for you here just so it doesn't take forever to watch. So if you have got a client with really thick hair or you're just practicing, just start off with doing half of the head or you can even do like quarter of the head just to practice your French plaiting. So now that I've finished and I've put in my band, I've went down the end of the hair and just done it in like a normal free braid, free braid plait. Now I'm going through and loosening everything up just so it looks a bit neater. And here's the final result. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you again soon. Bye!